Hi, it's Chris Watkin here, back from Agents Together, the charitable foundation for estate agents that helps estate agents like you become better agents. And today I'm joined by the most superb Chris Bridges, who started his own estate agency in the spring of 2020. Thanks for joining me today, Chris. Yeah, very welcome. Good stuff. Chris, um, you became a, a self-employed estate agent with Remax in the spring of 2020 with a history in, in property and, and, and other sales activities before then. Um, why did you want to become an estate agent to start with? Um, especially, especially as we were going into lockdown. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was, it was a bit strange how it all came about, to be fair. Um, so previous to that, uh, um, what, in the motor industry, I, I sold cars before that. And um, strangely enough, I, I had accepted a job with Audi um, right before I took the, the role on to, to become an estate agent. So it was, it was all strange how it happened. But... I sort of applied for the, the um, self-employed estate agent role and, and they got, Remax got back to me and I went for the interview and, and just absolutely loved what they had to say and, and really just fancied giving it a go. So it was really strange how it all came about, but I'm so glad I've, I've done it. Okay. So you, you, you became an agent in what's basically the most tumultuous year as, to become an estate agent. <laughs> you can see the, the ups and the downs and the roller coasters. Um, what do you love about a state agency in, in the 12 months you've been in the game? Um, I think num number one is, is being, being my own boss probably is, is the number one thing. Um, I'm, I'm used to making my own salary in sales. It's, it's something I've been used to, so it's not too different to that. But um, I've not got anyone else to answer to apart from myself. And that's probably the number one. Um, and also property is something I, I'd never really thought about before, but I love working in, in property and, and with um, selling some, some really nice homes as well. So that's, that's another great thing about it. That's excellent, excellent. So when did Agents Together first come onto your radar? When did you become first aware of the charity? Um, I think probably the likes, the likes of yourself posting it on LinkedIn. I've seen it. You know, it came up a few times, and and then I just kind of z z uh, zoned into one, and and they were just speaking. Of, I think it was someone similar to myself that was kind of new to the industry, and just said about the the kind of mentor that they had, and um, and I thought I fancied it, and then I filled out the form, and um, I don't know, I I just sort of filled in the form, didn't really know what to expect of it, um, and then I got a phone call for Sam. I think one or two days later. And, that was it. Sam is what we call the Cilla Black of estate agency. He matches up people, and he what he had a chat with you and found out exactly what you were looking for. It, you know, I mean, what were you looking for? What help and guidance were you were you looking for? The the, the main thing I needed help with. I, I've never had to do my own marketing. It's something that I've, I've never had to go out and, and get business as such. So that was the main thing that I put on the form and spoke to Sam about that I really needed help with. Um, or just just really wanted a bit of support with. So um, I, I told him that, and, and he's, he obviously put me put me in touch with with, with the mentor James, and um, it's something he's been helping me with ever since. Good stuff. So you're with James Clark, who's from the most excellent estate agents down in the Southwest, Langtown and Country. Um, hi, James. Um, how long have you been being mentored with James? Um, I do this morning, so that's been since October um, that the first sort of phone call was um, yeah, in October. And, and what's he, you know, it's very easy to say he's helped you with the marketing, but what's he, what difference has he made to you? So pretty much f from then, we, um, I kind of spoke to him about, um, I, um, the, about what I was needing help with and um, pretty much for the first phone call we spent, I think it was near, it was maybe half an hour or something like that, and he gave me loads of tips on well, he's, I don't know, I think it's maybe something like 20 years he's been in the industry, so he's got a wealth uh, in knowledge, and he now obviously runs his own um, estate agency. So he gave me loads of, of tips, and he sent me over different templates for um, letters and um, just loads of stuff. I just sat and took loads of notes, and, um, and just a different perspective on it was just amazing. But as I say, with the amount of experience that James has got, it was just brilliant. How does it make you feel that someone is prepared to spend you know half an hour every couple of weeks or however long however often you touch base to to give you help and guidance and support how does that make you feel i think it's amazing honestly i think it's it's absolutely amazing that he, he spends the time somebody does it no he's down in plymouth i'm up in 
um, you know, near Livingston in, in Scotland. So, um, complete, complete stranger and helping me um, just out of, out of kindness, really, and um, for this charity. I think it's just absolutely amazing, and um, I'm, I'm really grateful um, to him for that. And um, what do you think James gets out of it? Um, I don't know. I've never really thought about that. I suppose some he's probably well. He would have been new to the um, to the, the um, property industry all those years ago. So it probably it would be good for him to see me coming on and and um, and growing in, in the industry and um, and in the role. So I suppose he, he maybe gets a bit from that. But I have never really thought about it. Probably. I mean, certainly ask. I mean, I the the, the bit that I get out of it by being a mentor is that it, it makes you feel good when you help someone else. Mm. And that's the beautiful thing about Agents Together is, is that we've got, you know, nearly 200 mentors that want to help young estate agents and middle-aged estate agents mm. like themselves, just to guide and support them. I mean, Chris, how much, how much have you had to pay for this support and guidance from the, from the charity and from James? Absolutely nothing, which is, which is amazing, really. Um, again, you're a bit wary um, seeing it to start with, seeing that it's a charity that, that didn't really make too much sense to me, but... I've gave it a go and it's cost me absolutely nothing um, from the start. And I, as I say, I'm just so glad I've done it. And your final, my final thing is, is what would you say to any negotiator or any valuer, be they employed or self-employed, about reaching out to the Agents Together charity for some mentoring for them? I would say just, just go for it. Um, as I say, for me, I'm, I'm obviously just in the door, but for anyone really, just, just go for it and, um, as I say, it doesn't cost anything at all, um, and it's only you're only going to you know get better from doing it. And I, I, I highly rate it and highly recommend it to absolutely anyone. Chris, I'd like to thank you personally for your time today. I'm chuffed to bits that you're getting absolute maximum benefit from James and the charity. And if um, anyone else is interested, if you're watching it, whether you're employed, employed, self-employed, corporate, independent, it doesn't matter. If you are involved in the estate or letting agency industry, we would like to help you at the Agents Together Charitable Foundation by giving you guidance and support. We have nearly 200 mentors that want to help you be better agents. We've helped Chris, we will continue to help Chris and we could help you. So thank you for your time today, Chris. You've been absolutely amazing. And thank you, James uh, Clark, who, uh, for your mentoring skills for helping Chris. And together we will make this industry better. Thanks for your time today, Chris. You're an absolute star. Thank you.